Okay, we have the area of a circle, and we want to know what the circumference is. So area and circumference, right? So area is pi r squared. Circumference is 2 pi r. They're both based off the right r. So if I have one, I can back myself into the other one, right? So I have area is um, pi r squared, which is 20 pi. So I'm just going to solve for this r, right? I'm going to divide these. I'm going to divide um, um, this pi out, right? Divide by pi. I'm going to get r squared is 20, right? Then to get rid, undo this square, I would say r is root 20, right? So r is root 20. Um, then I, if I know r is root 20, I can plug it into my circumference, right, equation, which is going to be that circumference is 2 pi times r, which, again, we decided was root 20, so 2 pi times root 20, right? Um, at this point, you should, tw root tw 20 is not a square root, right? So, um, um, you absolutely, so it would definitely be answer choice A, right? Because all these other ones would just be straight up integers and it, it would want something with a square root. But just to kind of go through the logic of this, right? Root 20, if I expand, root 20 is going to be, this is like 4 times 5, which is 2, root 5, so root 20 is 2 root 5, so 2 times 2 um, root 5, C is 2 times 2 root 5, pi would be 4 root 5, right? So that would still be answer choice A. But again, it was the only one with the square root, so you didn't really even have to do, like, find, you know, simplify or um, the, the root 20, because it was the only one with the square root in it.